On the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the liberation of the Mauthausen and Gusen concentration camps, I would like to point out an extermination campaign that is still relatively unknown. It is the so-called Special Treatment 14F13 or Action 14F13, the murder of sick and disabled concentration camp prisoners in a killing center for the NS euthanasia campaign T4. Specifically, my remarks are about the Hartheim killing center near Linz in Upper Austria. In May 1940, the murders began in the Hartheim killing facility as part of Action T4. This campaign was named after its headquarters in Berlin's Tiergartenstraße 4. Mentally ill and disabled people from the German Reich were killed by carbon monoxide. It was the first organized mass murder campaign in stationary gas chambers. The murder method of Action T4 was selected based on experiments in autumn 1939 in a gas chamber in 47 in Poznan. When Action T4 was halted by Hitler's order on August 24, 1941, about 18,000 people had already been murdered at that time. The main reasons for the ending were the failure to keep the murder secret, the resulting unrest among the population, a low mood among the population after the attack on the Soviet Union and the protests by the church against Nazi euthanasia. A well-known example is the sermons by the Bishop of Münster, Clemens August Graf von Galen. The termination of Action T4 did not mean the end of the murder of people who were classified as unfit to live. The T4 device remained intact, kept on standby for new tasks. A significant number of T4 employees moved to occupied Poland in 1942 and worked here often in leading positions in the annihilation above all of the Jewish population as part of the Reinhardt campaign. At the time of the termination of Action T4 on August 24, 1941, the murder of sick and invalid prisoners under the special treatment 14F13 had already started in Hartheim. On August 11, 1941, Almost two weeks before Action T4 stopped, 70 Jewish prisoners were brought from the Mauthausen concentration camp to Hartheim for murder. These 70 people had been deported from the Netherlands to Mauthausen. The term special treatment 14F13, like numerous other camouflage terms, comes from the specific language used by the concentration camp SS. This Reichweite murder campaign may have been initiated on the initiative of Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler. At the beginning of 1941, he wanted to clear the concentration camp system, the number of prisoners of which had been increased sharply since the beginning of the war from so-called ballast existences, using the T4 personnel experienced in the mass murder and their infrastructure. The SS considered prisoners to be ballast survivors who were ill or disabled due to the poor living conditions, the brutal treatment and the hard work requirements and were therefore no longer of interest to the SS. At that time, the concentration camps themselves did not have the facilities necessary for the mass murder of prisoners. Last but not least, the planned murder campaign which, unlike previous excesses of violence, was to be organized and should take place in all concentration camps, was also intended to be carried out outside the camps in order to avoid unnecessarily disturbing the prisoners. The medical experts who had carried out selections for Action T4 now visited the various concentration camps and selected the prisoners. In Mauthausen in Gusen, the first selections were made by Dr. Lohnauer and Dr. Reno the heads of the hard-time killing facility. Later, the SS camp doctors, with or without the commander CIS, selected for the evening appeals. The SS tried to hide the murders of the selected prisoners from the camp inmates and their relatives by various measures. As is known from other concentration camps, 
The sick and disabled prisoners in Gusen were initially asked to volunteer for a transfer to a prisoner sanatorium in Dachau. More than 2,200 prisoners volunteered because they did not suspect any ruse behind this offer, as many of them remembered the transportation of 153 priests to Dachau in December 1940. As part of an action against the Polish intelligentsia, they were sent to the quarries in Mauthausen and Gusen together with around 5,600 other Poles for liquidation. By the end of special treatment 14F13 in autumn 1944, up to 10,000 prisoners from Mauthausen, Gusen, Dachau and Ravensbrück had been murdered in Hartheim Castle. In the fall of 1944, forced laborers, so-called Osterbeiter, ill and unable to work, were included in the Nazi euthanasia program in Hartheim. In total, it is estimated that about 30,000 people were murdered in Schloss Hartheim from 1940 to 1944. On December 11, 1944, a group of 20 inmates of the Mauthausen concentration camp was dispatched to remove the structural traces of the killing institution. This work probably ended about two weeks after New Year in 1945. As camouflage, a child care facility was established in the castle early in 1945 by the regional welfare service. However, this appearance of normality could only be maintained for a few months. As early as June 1945, a war crimes investigating team of the US Army under Major Charles Demeron arrived at Hartheim and began an extensive investigation. This investigation ended in a detailed report. Among other things, the report contains the important testimony of the Polish prisoner Adam Golebski. He was part of the prisoner commando, which had to dismantle the killing facilities in Hartheim at the end of 1944. Golebski experienced the liberation in, in May 1945 and immediately communicated his important observations to the Americans in Hartheim. Last but not least, this prevented the perpetrator's intention to cover up all traces of the crime. <laughs>